Hello again, it's Karen here. And today's video, we're going to look at some seated exercises recommended from this booklet, which I found called Active at Home. And it was produced by Public Health England and Sport England in the first few months of the coronavirus um, outbreak. And it's a guide to being active at home. And it includes seated exercises, which I'll cover today, and standing exercises, which I'll cover in the next video. And there are exercises which are very familiar to those of you who take part in Move It or Lose It classes anyway. And they reiterate the importance of being active. And this, all of these things have been proved by research to be the benefits of keeping active. So we've got keeping our spirits up, getting a good night's sleep, staying independent, staying a healthy weight, reducing risk of falls and fractures, keeping us steady on our feet, keeping your bowels regular, reducing risk of heart attack, stroke, diabetes, and some cancers, and preventing many health conditions from worsening. So there's nothing bad about exercise. All of those things are gonna help all of us in some way. And this little booklet also mentions about two key activity types that help our strength and balance exercises and aerobic exercises so great that's what we do with move it or lose it isn't it in our fabs classes so i'm just going to run through the seated exercises which they recommend which is a quite a nice little routine if you want to build that into your um, everyday activity they recommend you do them two to three times a week so i'm going to move over to the chair so you can see what i'm doing and i'll just talk you through them so our first one is heel lifts okay so sitting with your back away from the back of the chair in a good position feet firmly on the floor hip distance apart and you're just lifting your heels up and down you can do them slowly or you can build up a bit of speed but if you're doing it as a warm-up it's best to go a little bit more slowly so that you don't strain any of your muscles and they recommend you do this for about 30 seconds or we usually say about 10 repetitions in class. Depends if you're doing it to music as well, you'll do that to the rhythm of the music. So that's really warming up the calf muscles and working on ankle strengthening. We then go on to chair marching. So that is just lifting one leg at a time or adding in arms. Again, it's good if you can do this to music, something which gets a bit of a rhythm going. It can be nice and slow or you can speed up again for about 30 seconds. And this is where you start to get a bit of an aerobic benefit, you get your heart and lungs working a little bit more. Again, good posture. If you're leaning back, you're not getting the, the same effect um, on your lungs as you are in a good upright position. Okay, so that's your two seated ones to start with, your warm up. And then they go on to arm raises. Now, those of you who might have seen my um, video on shoulder exercises when I say that when you lift your arms out to the side try and lead with the thumbs turn your hands around so you're going out and up in that direction so you're not causing any pressure or pinching on the shoulder joints and they recommend in here about three times we usually start three to five times and again it's a nice gentle and slow stretch without holding your arms up there for more than a couple of seconds. So I've done five there. At any time during seated exercise, if, you, if your back gets a bit uncomfortable sitting up like that, you can take a breather, back relaxer by just letting your back round and your hands come in front of your knees or just leaning back against the chair. So what do they have next? Right, they have our leg extensions to work our thigh muscles. Okay, so this, you can sit a little bit further back in the chair if you like, so you're not too far forward over your hips to start with. And you're lifting one leg up, your foot up, so your knee is straight, and down again. Oh, my knees are cracking this morning, that's what I need. <laughs> so you're lifting up, and down. So try not to lift your thigh off the chair. And you can hold that for a few seconds at the end if you want to build up a bit more strength there. Count to five, two, three, four, five, and down. And again, they're saying here, do about three on each leg and build up. 
I prefer to say about five because often the first couple you do are just sort of getting into the swing of it before you produce a really good quality exercise. So I think I've done five on that leg. So we do five on the other. Okay. Now it says in this booklet, you can make it harder by lifting your legs slightly off the chair as you straighten it. And I don't agree with that because if you start lifting your leg off the chair, you're putting quite a lot of pressure on the on your lumbar spine and your sciatic nerve and you can feel ooh, a bit of pinching in the back. I prefer you to get a really good quality straight knee there and a good contraction of the quadriceps muscle without going into almost like a hamstring stretch by lifting your leg too high. And then the next one they do is arm curls. So you can just do a free arm movement where you're bringing your hand up towards your shoulder and down, if that's enough for you. And you can use resistance. So in this booklet, they have it with a hand weight. And again, three to five. So I'll do three, four, and five on there but we also have our bands that we use in class and if you're going to do um, biceps curl with the band just reminding you on their technique you put both feet onto the short end of the band to act as a, a support and an anchor there you hold the band in the hand as if you're going to shake hands with someone will we ever go back to shaking hands with anyone <laughs> and holding with a firm grip and letting the short end of the band just relax over your knuckles, keep your elbow tucked in at the side and bring your thumb up towards your shoulder. So that's another biceps curl, offering resistance throughout the whole of the movement. So I've done three there, four and five. Okay. Obviously, you can build up and repeat more as you get stronger with that. And then they go into a cool down. So I said it was a nice quick exercise from routine. And there are three cool down stretches are your hamstring stretch. I'll just turn the chair, chair to the side so you can see that better. So that's putting one leg out straight with the heel on the floor and making sure you're the front of the chair so you've got a nice stretch at the back of your leg. The other knee is bent, put your hands on the bent knee. Sit up tall from your hips and gently lean forward. I'm just doing a very gentle stretch this morning, just enough so I can feel a bit of tightness down the back of my hamstring without causing any twanging in my back. And then holding that. And here I think they say hold for about 20 seconds. Yeah, 10 to 20 seconds, whatever's comfortable for you. And when you've been doing a stretch, making sure that you come out of it gently. And you do the same on the other side. Hand on the bent knee, heel on the floor, lifting up from the hips and stretching forward. It doesn't take long for me to feel a stretch there. I have quite tight hamstrings, so don't ever try and go too far beyond what, what I feel comfortable to do there. Yeah. And then the other two are chest opening. So that's where you're really stretching back pushing your chest forward and trying to get your hands down the side of the chair so you're really opening your chest up. Keep breathing and again holding that for 10 to 20 seconds, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So if you have an orange between your shoulder blades and you're trying to squeeze it. And that's a really nice one to do if you've been sitting for a while at home. And finally, they finish with three deep breaths, which you can do in any comfortable position. Deep breath in, through the nose, and out through the mouth. Swizzle round, breathe in through the nose, and out through the mouth. And if you've seen my breathing exercise video, you'll know that I advise you try not to go with your shoulders, keep your shoulders down, and it's all just coming from the chest. Breathing in, Expanding the rib cage, holding for a moment, and breathing out. Okay, so that is their little chair routine. So two warm up exercises, three other exercises, and three cool downs. So it's a nice, easy to remember routine there. 
and all of those that we do regularly in class. But it is quite a nice one because you've worked all your joints throughout that. So I'm going to finish this video now and I'm going to continue with the standing exercises and a bit more information on the second video. So thanks for watching and if you want to see the standing exercises, um, watch the next video. Okay, thank you for now. Bye.